Hey guys, and warm welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and this is the Rusty Thicket, where we do all kinds of goblin core stuff. And today it's going to be a gift basket. In a couple of weekends, I have another art show, and one of the things I've wanted to do since starting this channel and starting selling my art here in Okinawa is to be able to do like a raffle for some of my stuff because it really brings people into your table. It definitely gets them excited about your, your theme, your artwork and stuff like that. But also building a good basket is great for lots of other stuff. Uh, gift giving, especially uh, teachers. Just I personally would love more than most gifts to get a bunch of little gifts that I love all in one little themed container because who doesn't like a theme, right? So this is going to be a Goblin Core art themed basket for my giveaway. Uh, this is also something I do for the channel when I hit uh, milestones and we are about to come up on 100 subscribers. So make sure you like and comment and share the video so I can get, I think it's eight more people to subscribe and we will do another giveaway very similar to the basket I'm going to build today. So the most important thing for me is obviously I, I want them to be fun and inexpensive and you know good for the channel without taking anything away from them. Uh, good for my art without taking anything away from it. I tend not to just give away my stuff for free these days because you know this is my job but this is the one opportunity I get to do cute little pieces of artwork that don't necessarily uh, either I don't sell them at my booth or maybe it's something I feel like people might not necessarily pay money for but might still like to have it for free you know there's certain things I would take certainly for free that I wouldn't spend money on um, but yeah I like to do little artworks for these specifically sometimes they're a bit more simplified but still cute and still fun so I always start with a basket, obviously. You can do a box, a 10, whatever you'd like. Uh, I go usually to the dollar sections or the dollar stores to get my baskets because I've never had a problem with a dollar store basket. My favorite thing is to thrift them and you can almost always find them in thrift stores. But for whatever reason, the last time we went, they were all long and skinny, kind of like a, like a pencil box size. And I wanted something a little bit bigger for this specific raffle. So I got this at the dollar section in the Saria in Makeman. Uh, it's actually kind of plastic, but yeah. Uh, and then I always find some kind of a base. This is just some green paper that I shredded in my shred machine. Like the, you know, that you shred bills in. I just make sure it's empty, put this in, and then dump it out. And it's like the perfect non-plastic filler to kind of make your basket cute. The biggest thing for me is when I want to do a themed basket or a box or a gift, I typically try to stay on a specific kind of color too, just because that makes it a little bit easier for it to look themed, even if it's not necessarily all the exact same stuff. Um, so we're going heavy on the yellows and greens because this is Goblin Core. So if you've been on my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with these. They're little like graham cracker chocolate mushroom candies. Super cute, super tasty. I always include one. It's on, it's my style. It's on brand for me. It's affordable and cute and I love them. I think we're going to set it up like that. Okay, so the next thing is, I always want something for them to do. So something interesting to, you know, take apart or build or something like that. This is actually a Insect Kingdom bath ball. I got another one for myself. I'm really curious to see what's in them because I haven't, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but you get some kind of little beetle inside of the bath bomb. Now I know. This is not gonna be for everybody. I love it, I think it's great. I want to say that they're marketed to the little boys because it was kind of in like the kids bath section and there was like a Hello Kitty one and then this one. But come on, girls can love bugs, I love bugs. Also, it is grape smelling, I guess, right? Cause you wouldn't lick that for a flavor. Anyway, definitely thought that was cool. 
gonna put that right there. Um, my other little candies over here, this to me kind of looks like a moss covered log. It is by a brand called Bourbon and everything that we've had from them is delicious. And this is a matcha latte crepe cookie. So it's like lots of little crunchy layers, which is one of my favorite things. Anyway, looks like a moss covered log. It's going in the goblin core basket. I'm put that over here. You always wanna make sure that you've got some height and then you kind of work your way down in the front so they can see everything. And sometimes I'll tuck stuff back in here so that they get some little surprises too, uh, which is actually kind of what I'm gonna do with these. So th these were just chosen at random. I'm not um, being super picky about my little bookmarks. Those are usually made out of scrap paper and something I do kind of in some downtime when I want little giveaways to give. Um, I usually put my name on the back, but I'm actually going to include my card in this basket. So we're not going to write on these today, but they're going to sit back here as some little bookmarks. Something fun. They can give them away too if they want. Um, I've got another matcha flavored. They're called asparagus biscuits. They do not taste like asparagus, but they come in chocolate, strawberry, matcha, I think a vanilla. The strawberry one is the best. And they come in like this really finely coated, kind of white, chocolatey, smooth outer shell. And they're like a biscuit in the middle. And I think they look like little branches and logs. I tried to find the chocolate ones, but they didn't have any this time. So that's gonna go right here. All right, and typically I would wrap this because I like sort of the unboxing and then not knowing exactly what it is, but I'm gonna show this one for this particular giveaway. So we're just gonna place it in there. All right, I also a while back when we were at the botanical garden, I found this book of bugs and I just randomly selected either a yellow or a green one and I came across this yellow one first. It looks like a little ladybug. I thought it was cute. It's got some stuff on the back that they can translate with Google Translate, but it's just a little fact card and I thought that was adorable. So I'm gonna include that in here too. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? They're little hard candies. I've not had them yet, but who cares? Look at that. Look how cute that is. It's going in there, there's no question. It's a frog. They cost like 12 cents American. I don't remember how much they are in yen, but so adorable and I will include one in everything I send out, just so you guys know. It's unfortunate that you have to kind of beat them up to open it, but it's cute until then. <laughs> So he's gonna go in here. Let's do him off to the side. Um, I don't know if you remember this or not. I may not have shown it on video, but I won this out of a gumball machine. It's like these cute two little birds with a yellow mushroom. It's like a little terrarium looking thing. It's the only thing I've ever won out of a gumball machine. Like not, sorry, not a gumball machine, out of a claw machine. And I have no real use for it. I've always known when I bought it, it would be for the channel. So it's gonna go in this basket. That's just like another little cute thing. Um, this is green. It kind of reminded me of like, it's like sand or I don't know. It just, it's green, it's a bottle sour. They're very good. I have had these. Um, I think it just kind of looks like a little potion bottle, you know, we're going to put it in there. All right. And then I'm going to include one of my keychains. Sometimes when they don't turn out hundred percent perfect, I like to, you know, find little homes for them like this. I actually hung a couple on a branch out on a tree in the park. And I went by the next day to see if they were still there and somebody picked them up. I thought that was cute. So Anyway, that's going to go in this little organza bag. I'm going to include my Spotify playlist. I like to listen to this playlist when I'm working on some art sometimes. Also, it's just cute. It has songs about hard grades and all that. I'll make sure to link it below. 
And that's gonna go in here along with my business card and a little keychain, like I said. And then we're gonna cinch that up and actually put it behind there with the card and the little froggy guy. So all together, we've got this super cute little basket ready for a home. I'm hoping it draws enough people in to really wanna come and see my table and sign up for the giveaway. It'll be not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And I'll probably do the drawing by like an email or something like that. I don't want people to give out their phone numbers or anything. So uh, let me know in the comments below, would you be excited to get something like this? Because I know that I would, which is why I make them. So um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, do everything that you can because we're almost to 100 subscribers and it's excellent. It's really given me life and I'm enjoying doing all of them and I can't wait to see what we do in the future. So see you guys next time. Bye guys.